everyone, I am back this week with another food video. I don't know if you guys know this, but these videos are in fact my favorite videos to film. I really love cooking and whenever I make these videos, I have so much good food in my house. So it's a win-win all around, I think. So a lot of people here on YouTube do breakfast videos and healthy lunch ideas videos. I wanted to start branching out into uncharted territory. So with different themed types of food videos, I had a few different options of things I was thinking about. So I asked you on Instagram, which one you guys most wanted to see. And my easy make ahead healthy meals was by far the most popular choice. So all of these meals are things that you can make ahead of time. You can store them in the refrigerator for up to a week or the freezer for much longer than that. And you don't have to think about it. You don't have to cook every single meal. You have things already pre-made and it's so easy. All you have to do is reheat and eat. So if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what other types of themed recipe videos you would like to see me do in the future. Okay, so now let's get cooking. So first up is my go-to quick and easy breakfast, which is DIY freezer oatmeal. A lot of people don't think about freezing their oatmeal, but it makes life really, really easy. So first you just wanna prep your oatmeal. I typically will make this with steel cut oats, but I ran out, so today I'm just using regular oats, and you just wanna cook these according to the directions on the package. Then get out your muffin pan and spray it down. I do this with coconut oil, and then fill up each of your muffin cups. Then go to town with whatever your favorite toppings are. I like to vary the toppings so I can have a variety. So here I'm putting cinnamon, walnuts, and also blueberries. In the next one, I'm putting my favorite trail mix. Then I also have some fresh raspberries with honey and some blackberries. So basically whatever your favorite oatmeal toppings are, just go to town. Once you have them done the way you want them, cover it up and pop this into the freezer overnight. Once these little guys are frozen, they will pop right out and you can store them in individual freezer bags. And when you're ready to eat them, what I typically do is put two to three in a bowl for one serving. I add a little bit of milk to rehydrate them and then I pop it in the microwave for about two minutes. That's all you need to do and these are just really handy for when you're in a crunch and you need a quick and easy breakfast. Next up, I'm going to show you my favorite lunch, something I eat most days of the week, which is a vegetable soup. And I'm gonna show you an awesome way to store it. So the veggies I'm using for this are leeks, carrots, celery, and potato, but you can really use whatever your favorite veggies are or whatever you have on hand. So you wanna start by cooking down your leeks or onions first for a few minutes and then add the rest of your veggies. Cook that up for about five minutes and then you'll be ready to add your stock or stock concentrate and some diced tomatoes. You also wanna make sure to season your veggies. I didn't film it, but I added salt, pepper, some cayenne, a bay leaf. Once it comes to a boil, reduce it down to a simmer and cook it for between 30 minutes to two hours. Once it comes down to room temperature, I set some aside in a Tupperware to eat throughout the week, and then I also set some aside to freeze so I could eat at a later date. So to do this, what I do is I actually put it into a solo cup or a plastic cup. By doing this, it's in an individual serving size, so this makes it really easy just to pop it out of the cup and reheat it whenever you are ready for it. Next is one of my favorite quick and easy snacks that I've been making for years now. So this is super easy to make and it stores well in the refrigerator for up to a week. This is a corn and bean salad with frozen corn, green beans, black beans, and kidney beans. I put a large container of this aside and when I'm ready to eat it, I put some in a bowl and then I add on top my favorite dressing. You can add whatever your favorite is or you can just put olive oil and some balsamic vinegar. This is so easy to make, really tasty and a good healthy snack to always have on hand. And I typically have this almost every day as my mid-afternoon snack. Next up is one of my favorite chicken dishes. So you just wanna start by pan frying some asparagus or veggie of your choice with some ginger and garlic. And if you don't have fresh, you can also use just powdered ginger and powdered garlic. And while that's cooking, I put some cubed chicken into a pan and into that I add a third cup of chicken stock, soy sauce, and some cornstarch, which is going to make a nice sauce. I finish that off with the juice of half of a large lemon and the lemon gives it a nice fresh taste and helps preserve the flavor longer. I will typically eat this with either rice or quinoa. It's super flavorful and also stores really well in either the refrigerator or the freezer. Last up is my staple make ahead item and this is my spin on turkey meatballs. So you wanna put one pound of your ground meat of choice, then add half of a grated white onion, 
one egg, two cloves of garlic, and whatever your favorite spices are. Then either rice or breadcrumbs. I personally like to add rice because it makes them more fluffy and also more filling. Then you wanna mix this all up and roll it into balls Put these into a pan that's lined with your favorite marinara sauce, and once you're done with that, pour the rest of the sauce on top over the meatballs and make sure they're fully covered. Then you wanna cover this with foil and pop them in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes to an hour, depending on if the rice is pre-cooked or not. My personal favorite way to eat these is with spaghetti squash. If you've not tried spaghetti squash, I really recommend it. It's probably one of my favorite vegetables. To make it, I just puncture a whole spaghetti squash and cook it in the oven alongside the meatball, so it's super easy. So that's the basic turkey meatball recipe, but the reason I wanted to include this and the reason I love this so much is one pound of meatballs can feed me for almost the entire week with a bunch of different meal options. So here are just a few different ideas of things you can make with your turkey meatballs. So of course with the spaghetti squash like I just showed you, you can have it with regular pasta or on top of quinoa. You can have it on a sandwich, so in a sub or just on regular bread. You can have it wrapped in lettuce, so like a turkey lettuce wrap. You can also have it with some sauce on top, so some barbecue sauce or whatever kind of sauce you like, and some steamed veggies on the side. So there are just so many different ways you can eat these meatballs. Okay, so that is it for my make ahead, easy and healthy meals. If you guys try making any of these at home, definitely tag me on Twitter or Instagram. My social media handle is Vassar Beauty everywhere, so it's super easy to remember and I would love to see your recreations at home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy my different recipe videos and leave in the comments some other themed recipe videos you would like to see me do coming up and I'll see you guys soon. Hi honey. Hey babe. So you know how this week I was doing a bunch of like pre-made meals? Yeah. Well, you're in luck. I actually made you your lunches for the entire week. Awesome. Yeah, so hold on. Here it is. It's in a lunchbox and everything. Oh. Awesome. And I would do.